Okay, no, do it again, do it again. Welcome back to the second video, everybody. And let's go. That's Calvin, Shred Shed. Let's get this second bonus going. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't thank you enough. Or that yeah. part is serious. I, I, I do. I feel guilty taking up so much time. No, it's fun. It's fun talking about bikes and talking to other people about YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I haven't told many of my like closest friends about, about like the channels. So some of them know now, but like, I'm not gonna go and just like geek out about YouTube to somebody who doesn't give a crap about YouTube. It's so, like this is super fun to me. Like my middle brother, or I'm sorry, youngest brother, he has he's really big into disc golf and he has a YouTube channel for disc golfing. Anytime him and I get together, we just talk nonstop about YouTube. My whole family's like, shut up, stop talking about YouTube. But that's always I can't do that. <laughs> I'm terrible at forehand. I go quite a bit with him now too, but I'm terrible at forehand. I played. I don't know if it's forehand or backhand, but but can you? A little bit. I hurt myself. I hurt the, um, you know, like I think it's called Tommy John surgery. Like baseball players like tear something right there. Uh huh. Yeah, similar thing can happen in disc golf. And when I first started playing, I like really ripped it, and it hurt my elbow super bad. I'm like, I'm never doing that again. So I don't throw those. I just throw normal way. I threw it. I gotta show you this picture you're talking about. Um. I threw, I, we played in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Well, my in-laws have a place out there. Okay. And they have a Frisbee golf up and down the mountain. Sweet. And it's, it's, I can't, I bring my regular Frisbee. Okay. I can, I can hit it. I can hit a fly off a barn. I should just include this and I'll, and I'll edit this. <laughs> this is fun stuff. Right. But you talk about the whatever. I don't know if you can hold on. Let it, let it. Is that a bruise? The whole arm. That's called alcohol and your brother-in-law going, you want to wrestle <laughs> during Thanksgiving? <laughs> I got down in the Roman Greco style. He put his arm around me. He goes, okay, go. And I went to do a reversal and I just heard a crack. Oh. A pop. And I was like, I broke my arm. I broke my arm. Did it break? <laughs> didn't break i just ripped a bunch of stuff it's oh. still to this day that happened thanksgiving I'm you didn't have to have surgery thing. or anything what's that you didn't have to have surgery or anything i didn't go that far i'm one of those guys it's like oh it'll <laughs> same same i've had uh, i've had a few surgeries only only one i think was to repair i blew out my knee wakeboarding when i was in like early college and tore my mcl acl meniscus and I'm very much a person like that'll heal. Well, that won't heal. So I'd have surgery on it and stuff. I think I have a tear in my other meniscus from snowboarding, but uh -huh. I've never gotten it fixed. It doesn't hurt me, but it locks up quite a bit. Like I'll bend it and I was like, oh, that's not coming back. Oh, yeah. This one, the lady at the, the what was it, urgent care, she was just like, I don't see any breaks. Uh, you definitely tore some stuff, but when you tear something, if it's not rolled up, if my bicep wasn't yeah. rolled up and whatnot, she goes, I want you to move it. So. Yeah. And I don't know the difference, like between tendons and ligaments and all that stuff, but I know some will heal on their own. Others, they're so tight that when they tear, they're like a rubber band and they're just gone and you have to have surgery. To I almost feel it because I can, I can stretch it, but you feel the tension. There's not yeah. that. It's not elastic -y. Right, right, right. <laughs> so you do a lot of weight. I'm keeping this. Shit. <laughs> I'll keep that. I'll bleep that part out. Right, right. But this is fun. Like you, you wakeboard. You still, you, you do you still wakeboard? And is that in the Michigan area? Uh, yeah. So I don't still wakeboard. Um, when I was younger and lived with my parents stuff, they had a wakeboard boat, and we've always had wakeboard boats. But um, one, there's not a lake around us anymore because of all the dams that failed and flooded everything. They're gone for however many years to come. Um, I don't live on a lake anymore. We don't have a boat and stuff. Um, there's a thing in wakeboarding called cable parks. If you're familiar with that, Orlando they, has a huge one. They um, have one at one of our mountain bike parks. It's just a park, and then there's mountain biking, and then there's the you hold on to no the way. Like, That's like heaven, dude. That's sweet. I've never done yeah, it. Though. So like, there's a place downstate near Grand Rapids. If you're familiar with, 
Southern Michigan um, yeah. that has one where um, I can still go if I wanted to, but I don't have access to like a boat to go wakeboarding really. So you don't have a boat anymore? No. There's no lakes. There's no sense of having a boat anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> you mentioned that in one of your uh, one of your 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 videos. Yeah. So yeah, you didn't hear about that. No, I. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so yeah, so we had a series of four dams, I think, fail where I live. It's like a series of man-made lakes where it's a river system, and then a hundred plus years ago, they flooded all these lakes to build hydro dams to generate power and um hydroelectric dams rather yeah and uh we had a really bad rainstorm in 2020 i believe it was yeah may of 2020 um and all these alarms start going off at i don't know midnight two in the morning somewhere there i'm a heavy sleeper i slept through all of them next thing you know my parents are at our house they live on a different lake but just up river from the lake i was i was living on sanford like at the time um and they show up and like, oh, the, the lakes are failing. The dams are failing. They're going. I'm like, I live on a 30 foot hill. The lake's way down there. I'm not too worried about it. Well, the next day, I, like I went over to my parents' house to help them pump water out of their basement. Cause like the lake they lived on came way up. I mean, devastated the area, right? Like tons of people lost their house. It was terrible. Yeah. But um, I was over there helping them pump water out and stuff. I left, drove across all sorts of flooded roads to get home. Wow. And then like an hour after we got home, the alarms start going off again and police are driving by with sirens, get out, evacuate immediately. The dam that holds the water back from Wixom Lake onto Sanford Lake failed. And it was like a 75 foot drop between the two lakes. So now there's like millions and millions of gallons, like literally just like a tsunami coming down. Yeah. The and I'm like, again, we're on a 30 foot hill. We're fine. Like that'd be so much water for us to be in danger. Well, we're talking to our neighbors and we're all like, oh yeah, I think we're safe. Like 10, 20, 30 minutes go by. I look down and the water's up like 15 feet. And I'm like, Rach, we got to go. Cause where we lived, it took a, we had to cross water wherever we went to get out of where we live. We're, yeah. we're not on an island, but we're surrounded by all these sorts of like rivers and lakes. And, and they're like, all being flooded. Exactly. We left within, call it 20 minutes of us leaving. All those bridges were submerged in water. Some of them had washed out. We would have been stranded. We would have been stranded there. How was your house? The house was fine. It was a rental, which that's yeah. still a house, right? Like, it'd be devastating if it was gone. But yeah, it wasn't. It's, it's where we you were, were to it. dwelling at the time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, no, we were fine. Um, the house never got wet. We lost a dock that we built, but it's. Son of people man. lost their house right they lost their yeah, whole you life. lost it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but the water came up so fast like i think we had it i think we had eight footings on this dock which is a ton for the size of the dock it was it was pretty small it was like a eight by 16 i think mm-hmm. i don't remember exactly but it had eight footings in it all concreted into the ground water came in so quick it just sucked the whole thing out of the ground and then took it out with it so now it's out in, I don't know, or probably out in the woods somewhere in the bay or who knows. Wow. But didn't, didn't you, you, you had a video, was the water gone? Yeah. So there's no water in any of the lakes. Right now. There's a small river system, like the original river. That's all that's left. So the water, you had water. Yep. Dam broke and took all the water with it. Yeah. Yeah. I really need to get up on science. That's, that's interesting to me. I would just think it would stay and. Yeah, no, it's it's gone because they're all man-made lakes. It's not like a lake oh, where, okay. like if like an inland lake down by you might just be one hundred percent fed by like maybe spring fed or something. Yeah, I was gonna say river spring fed lake. Out. All of these, it's like a, a river system basically, and they dammed off different sections of it to create a big body of water. So once that dam's gone, all that water's gone. We had four lake. I think it was four lakes disappeared just in a matter of hours whole thing gone millions and millions and millions of gallons of the water and that's an understanding so when you came home there was no yeah it was nothing were you just like where 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 did lake go well (laughs) yes but at the same time like we stayed with my in-laws for a week because we weren't able to get back to our place like safely and stuff we found a way to like trek back and like there's so much devastation like the neighborhoods and the town and like our entire town was underwater like, like it, it, Google this. It, it would check it out it, it made world news it was absolutely devastating 
And there's there's still cleanup happening to this day, and it's been May will be two years. You know what's sad um, is people always ask you, don't you work in the news? Because I work for <laughs> news, and, and I'm like, it's like working in an Italian restaurant. You get sick of <laughs> spaghetti after a while. Like I don't watch a lot of news. Well, you said something about was it Hurricane Irma? Is that the one you yeah. were referencing earlier? Like, I I know you guys get hurricanes. I don't I don't live there. I don't know which one you're yeah. talking about, right? Like, yeah, you're you're really up on your local news. And then you're up on certain things and yeah, you can't pay attention to everything, but yeah, yeah I would suggest checking it out. It's, it, there's a lot of, there's actually some good YouTube channels that have came out of this flood. Um, there's one that's tracked the whole process of like when the water was rising and flooding to when it all rushed out and all the dams fell. He has all sorts of good drone footage. He has videos currently to this day that he's still making of like the dams being reconstructed. You can see all the machinery out on the lake beds, rebuilding these dams and stuff. It's cool. So what did it change your life in any way or I mean other than not having the boat and being having the lake behind your house well, so I was I mean, Rachel was your and I family's been, okay were your, your parents yeah okay? everybody's oh. safe oh, okay. surprisingly believe it or not nobody died during all God. This. nobody <laughs> nobody That's, I don't I think what I was going for <laughs> I don't I don't okay. get how like you know there's somebody sitting in his porch like I'm going down with the ship. I ain't leaving this place. If the tsunami hits me, it's taken me. This is my house. I've been exactly. here for right. Like <laughs> and when we went to my father-in-law's house, we were like, we were looking at elevation maps. Like, man, if Sanford Lake Dam blows, which it did, could the water get to us? Because we were still downriver from where we left our house to go stay for a week. We were still downriver. So, like, would are we safe here? And we were starting to plan like should we pack up the camper and like go to a different area to be safe? And he's like, I ain't leaving. I'm like, what do you mean you're not leaving? He's like, I ain't leaving. I'm like, okay. So I, I know there's people who are like that. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's their life, right? But That's crazy, man. I didn't know anything like that. And the science behind it just took all the water. Yeah, it's wild. If you had that much water, you think there'd be water that would... I'm right. just, I'm sorry. I'm just fascinated by the story. <laughs> like you lived through a natural disaster. Yeah. So or unnatural it was a very disaster. stressful time because it was also right after COVID had started too. Like COVID shutdowns happened in what, like March of 2020. Is that when it all started? Yeah. And then all of our town was displaced, right? Like everyone in Samford and Midland and Saginaw and Bay city, everyone who was within the vicinity of these river systems and lakes, they were either losing their houses or had to evacuate their houses because they weren't going to be able to go anywhere. You're talking uh, about COVID. Um, you, well, you brought up COVID because 2020 was a real shit show. I'll bleep that out. <laughs> um, I bought a house. I bought this house in February of 2020. Okay. Like, yeah, we bought a house. Right. And then people started, and you know, the president was just like, oh, we're only going to have like one or two cases. And then March, it closed. Yeah. And we were like, we just bought a house. We have to renovate. So what was that oh, like? You were in the renovation boom where everyone was going out and buying home supplies and trying to do stuff. And We couldn't get people to come in because this, this doesn't renovate. <laughs> this is, I'm worse than you with, I'm watching you hammer stuff into your garage, hanging bikes up. And I'm like, how did he do that? See, I'm handy in a sense that I'll try anything. Which is bad though, because I'm like, oh, I've messed that up. But the way I look at it is you either pay someone to do it the first time, or I can possibly save money and do it myself and I have the gratitude of doing it myself. But if I mess it up, so revert back to paying somebody to do it. Yeah. That's how I see it. My, yeah, this is how I see it. I, I would love to do it. And I love doing stuff. Like I said, I, I've, I've made bikes and I've done other things. <laughs> she just, she was like, <laughs> I love you. She, um, yeah, she'll just go. Let, let's just get it right done the first time. <laughs> See, like my wife always questions. Like, Are you sure you can do that? I'm like, nope, don't have a clue. But we're gonna try it. Like, joking, you know, a couple like, months ago, now we had a plumbing issue. Where I'm like, I gotta fix this because I had to shut the water off for the whole house. Otherwise, the whole house is gonna flood. I gotta fix this. So I took the day off of work and make sure I did it. And she's like, do you know what you're doing? I'm like, I don't have a clue, but YouTube can teach me. So I'm YouTube and how to fix this. I'm like running back and forth to the hardware store. I'm like, if I don't get it right, I'll just call the plumber. I, I say, just call the plumber. Like there's a plumber outside my door waiting to come in and fix it. That's obviously hey, not. Get in here. 
but either way, it's like, I'd, I'd rather try it because now I learned how to do it. So if it happens again, I can fix it now. Yeah, I do. St- I'll do little things, but it's funny. My wife will be like, well, you're not going to do it. And I said, look, I told you I'm going to do it. You don't have to ask me every six months. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to keep bugging me every six months. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do some stuff. I put in a garbage disposal not too long ago. <laughs> That's right. funny. But, oh, oh, you were in Florida. Where were you in Florida? So I'm terrible, man. I don't know anything about locations in Florida. We were on the Gulf side. Um, my in-laws go down there um, for the winter. Um, they live in uh, in their fifth wheel when they go down there. And so we went down and stayed with them for a week. We all got sick. We all got the flu. Well, I think it was food poisoning. Everyone's seen- going to say, I was going to say, you mentioned you were, you were, you were ill too. You got, you came yeah. before and got sick. That's what we do here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I got, I have positive it was food poisoning. The reason I think it was food poisoning is because my daughter didn't get sick. She didn't, she didn't eat the restaurant because she's a baby. She didn't eat the fish. So Ooh, fish, golf yeah. fish. And it was spread out, which could make it think it's a flu. Like I got it. And then I gave it to my wife and then gave it to so-and-so. But in the matter of a week, we all got it. But food poison can take like two weeks to get you sick sometimes. So. And how long were you sick? Food poisoning is like a day, ain't it? It's like. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, it was about a day. But we all, like I said, we all had it over a different period of time. Uh, when we so, were down there, so like we were down there for, I think, seven days. We only had two days where everybody was in good health. You weren't staying in the fifth wheel with them. Oh, yeah, we were all in the fifth wheel. Uh, <laughs> fifth wheel and everyone's got food poisoning. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun time. Were you up north Florida, north Tampa, Fort Myers, near, near Florida? Tampa. We flew into like a Tampa area. Um, there's two airports near each other, right? There's Tampa and there's something else. There's a Sarasota. It's just like 45 minutes away. I want to say it was something water. Is uh, there a clear water or something? Clear, and it's a tiny airport. Clear but... water. I don't, look, Florida is probably know. Florida is like you, you Michigan. I can drive seven hours north and right. still be in Florida. Right. There's a lot of Florida I have not seen. I think I was near Tampa. Okay. I should know this. <laughs> Did we treat you all right? Yeah, it was Florida a good time. People. That was great. You didn't encounter any Florida man. <laughs> you ever no, heard of that? I, I love, oh, I love it. There's always news articles, Florida man. Yeah. Uh, you, don't, you don't get that about any other state. You're never going to hear, a, oh, a Michigan man. Idaho yeah. man does this or Michigan man. It's always Florida man. Yeah. Always. There's a comedian that jokes about how, uh, what is it, Austin, Texas, and Portland, Oregon, they keep it weird is their motto. They're like, have you ever been to Florida? (laughs) A guy robbed a Wendy's with an alligator. (laughs) It's ridiculous. I love it. it. Get, get, get. Okay, now I'm going to let you go now, mister. Get to your family. But I'm going to tell you something. And and, and, and this this is good. I don't know if you feel this out, but I have a YouTube page, mister. Uh And you just made a bonus. This is going to be my first bonus. What do you mean? My first bonus video, when we tagged out that last time and I said, subscribe to this kid, one video. Oh, we're going to do two videos? This is going to be, you're going to be my first bonus video. Oh, Oh, welcome back, everybody. This is the start of the second video. Cut to- End of the second- End of the second video. Okay, no, do it again, do it again. Welcome back to the second video, everybody. And let's go. That's Calvin, Shred Shed. Let's get this second bonus going. <laughs> All right, Cal, get out of here, man. Thank you so much again. Thank your wife Appreciate and your it. kid for me for allowing me this time. Absolutely. Good talking to you. Glad we got to meet. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Also, okay, now we're done that again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is my little thing where I Part said, three, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I, and I know you don't have to, but I don't want you to waste your time by having 30 views, but it, it helps if you help promote as well. Oh, absolutely. No, I'll for sure be sharing this. Okay. Because I don't want like you spending all this time talking to this goofy. No, it's then, fun. No so, time to waste it at all. So, yeah. Whenever, whenever you go to post this, let me know. I'll share all the links to 
All my different spots. I think I'm probably going to post it Monday or Tuesday. I don't want to post it on a Friday night where, you know, because I still have to edit this and make it look pretty where there's a background and whatnot. Right. And I want to put, nobody's going to watch it. So I like beginning a week. So I'll let you know. Perfect. Yeah. Shoot me a message. Let me know when it's ready to go up. Um, if I ever find yeah. myself in Michigan. For sure. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Thank bring you. Your, so bring your pedaling feet, though, because that's all you're going to get around here. That's all I do. You hurt my feelings when you said uh, the, the your little Instagram of how to put them on pedals. <laughs> I'm a See, clipless that's brother. What that's what I say. Like I joke about all that kind of stuff, but like I just put clips on my on my gravel bike. I would never do it on a mountain bike, but <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> all right, brother. Thank you so much. Get out yep. of here. Thank you. Good to meet you, man. Have a good right, night. Nice meeting you. Take care.